when we talk about HANA database backup so as per SAP uh, there are five types of backup so let's start uh, for the today's video hi friends welcome to our channel so in today's video we are going to see about the HANA database backup and what are the different types of backup available in the HANA database so before starting the video I would like to say that I'm not an expert in HANA database but the knowledge which I gained from the my experience and after reading the books so I'm trying to share the same information to you guys so that knowledge will help you as well so as per SAP there are five types of backup available for the HANA database the first one backup first backup that is a full day, uh, full backup so in full backup uh, the first is complete database backup S then the second uh, type is data snapshot then the second types of backup that is the delta backup so in delta backup so in delta backup there is you know there are two types of uh, delta backup that is the incremental backup and the uh, differential backup after delta backup the third one is read log backup which is we, we say the log backup the read log get written into the uh, you know in under the logs uh, so that is a log backup and the fourth one is native encryption of backup and fifth one is backup created using the third party backup tools so uh, the known backup types basically are three that is a full backup in which the complete data backup then uh, you know the differential backup the delta backup and the third one is the read log which we call the log backups so let's start so we will do one by one so uh, first of all we will start a HANA database so as we know to start the HANA database we have to log into SID ADM then we will use the SAP control command as we saw in last video that SAP control command is the best option to you know administer the HANA database or even in the SAP application as well we use it so the function which we are going to use that start system then HDB so now a HANA database will get start to check the status we will just change the option that is get process list I hope this command after watching this video you also will start using it it's you know really helpful so we can see that now HANA database is getting start so once it started we will then uh, use the HANA studio so before go to the HANA studio we will see first uh, backup that is the complete database backup so complete database backup means what so the complete database backup is the backup which include all data which is required to recover the HANA database to consistency state so the backup which have the uh, data which we you know you, you when we will use that data to recovery and after recover the database will come to the consistent state so that backup you know is called as the uh, complete backup okay so there is a few like point I want to add uh, the note which is there about the complete backup the first one is that to ensure the safety of your data means uh, our database uh, data the backup should be stored on the multiple different backup destination outside of the HANA database so the reason of this the important note because if we kept the data on the same server in case any in due to any problem if the uh, host crash then we will lose a data the data as well as the backup so there is a there will not be option to recover the HANA database to that 
particular point or you know where the database was crashed so this is the standard practice basically all uh, you know the organization follow this so this is the one of the important one second one that I want to add administrator point of view that is the the data backup which we takes okay that backup not include log area means the log backup which we takes or the you know the data which is in the log uh, log volumes uh, and similarly the customer specific configuration settings so, so which the customer specific configuration setting we mean to say that the parameters those are set in the configuration files like the global ini dot file for the uh, your system DB for your tenant database so that configurations file that INI files not going to backed up while you know uh, doing the uh, complete database backup so this is one of the important point that uh, you know we need to keep in our mind that because in case the database crashed or the host crash then we can after restore we will get the database consistency but we will lose if we are not taking the backup of the .ini file then all the parameter those we set uh, you know uh, for the performance point of view or for the uh, other parameter those are related to HANA database configuration that all will get lost so so for that reason we must you know take the backup of the .ini file now we will go to HANA studio and we'll take the backup so we have started the HANA database I will just show once again by running the SAP now here we can see that all turn into green so now we will go to the HANA studio so we can see here there is a system DB and the tenant DB so whenever we install the HANA database HANA system so the database get isolated into the different database that is the first default it getting isolated in system DB and the tenant DB this is from the uh, we can say from HANA version 2.0 onwards uh, this now as we are the current version is 2.0 sp5 revision 55 is there in the market so whenever like you will uh, install the uh, system the new system or will implement the system HANA database automatically the two database will get created two database instance will get created that is the system DB and the tenant DB okay so we will come to the point a uh, uh, point that is the uh, backup so here we can see after expanding it after clicking on this arrow we can see the backup catalog provision uh, you know provisioning and the security so now we are going to see for the backup so if I do like right click on this we can see open backup console backup system database backup tenant database but similarly if I click on the if, if I click on the system DB then I if go to the backup and recovery we will get the more option so for the recovery point of view we have to come here okay so now I will go and will take the backup of the tenant database so there are different options actually available so what we will do uh, this is one tenant DB is available I selected this click on next so now here we can see the option of the complete database backup okay so if if uh, we click on this arrow we can see the differential uh, differential data backup incremental backup so here we have to select the complete database backup then click on next and then finish so it will start the complete database backup so I would like to add one point uh, from my observation like as in Oracle there is an offline backup option is available in HANA database all these backups get performed online okay when the HANA database is running so keep in this mind uh, that 
always when the database is online we take the backup okay there is no offline backup for the HANA database so if you want to take the offline backup then you know option that is like you know if we if uh, we are using the AWS we can take the AWS snapshot if we are using the other uh, you know VMware or something from there also we can take the snapshot so this is th that option also available for the kind of you know taking the whole backup of the system um, offline as well as online so this is the complete database back so uh, thank you for watching this video we will continue this uh, remaining point in the next video I hope you like this video if you like please subscribe to my channel share with your friends and you know stay safe stay home thank you